All right, DVDs are way sharper on a CRT. I read it on a forum too. Someone said the exact same thing. And you know what? I tend to agree with them. I've watched several DVDs so far and it seems like it's more clear on a CRT television than it is on a, my regular TV. I don't understand. A DVD is digital, so shouldn't you be able to make the image look better on a digital platform more than anything else? No. So you know what I'm going to start doing? I'm going to start watching some of my CRT, not CRT, my DVD collection, which is on some of it's over here, like NCIS and Blue Bloods that I haven't caught up on. And I'm going to see what they look like on a CRT television, and then I'm going to see um, what they look like on a regular television. Now, I know there's certain things that are going to be off and certain things that are not. I don't care so much about audio anymore with these TV shows. Mostly when you watch NCIS and all that, um, there's not much of a difference of CSI. I have the CSI Blu-ray and the, the, the whole surround sound was barely ever used, even though it has surround sound like 5.1 on it. So that's what I'm going to try out. Definitely a shop of pictures though. Um, I'm going to see, maybe it's even, it's, is it worth watching full time on a CRT television for just DVDs? I don't really know. But I'm starting to look at it. I mean, not maybe not full time, half time on my projector and half the time on the television. Uh, but then we've got LaserDisc, which looks excellent on a CRT television. You don't know what you're missing until you're watching on that. Um, there's not much else to talk about. <laughs> um, that's all I wanted to set mention was that DVDs look excellent. I had this cheap DVD for college, as you saw it on my channel, The U. When you watch that on a CRT television, it's nice and clear. There's no, you know, how do I put it, no blurriness or anything. But as soon as you try to watch it on a regular LCD or LED television, it just doesn't look quite right. And you have it in a really good DVD player too. It's a 4K LG. So um, I understand how it goes. The one thing that was a little off though that I have to say looked better on the HD television was some of the coloring. Um, I guess I could have changed that because I had to change that around so the laser disc play would look correct. But, um, and I shouldn't have since it was a CRT, but forget it. Laser disc by itself, on, a, on a, um, a Sanyo television, without messing with the colors, it doesn't look right. Um, let's just say the, um, the, the U has a, the U, which is the college DVD, it has a yellow background. And the yellow background, I have to say, looked pretty good, but then you saw the colors were messed up a little more on the CRT. But once you played the film, it looked fine while you were watching it. So there are some differences, but I think that if you want to look at DVDs and other stuff, I'm talking like early stuff, especially the earlier DVDs, you might want to just stick with the CRT television. But I'm going to try it out. I'm going to watch a few DVDs in there once I get a working DVD player. See, the problem is I have a working DVD player, but it's a Blu-ray player and it only has HDMI. I want to play it on the CRT television. So I need a DVD player with composite to be able to officially see what it looks like. I'm trying to think if there are any in my house right now, and I can't think of anything that would be compatible. Well, I'm just going to have to wait. Maybe I'll find one at a flea market, but I don't like flea markets because they don't have remote controls. All right. Bye-bye.